When we study about Greek mythologies, we usually learn about the gods and goddesses, but we rarely talk about the weapons that are associated with them, such as the thunderbolt of Zeus, the winged sandal of Hermes, the chariot of Helios, the girdle of Aphrodite, and the mysterious Pandora's box. These legendary tools were all created by Hephaestus, the god of fire and the blacksmith god, who was regarded as the master craftsman on the Mount of Olympus. In this video, I will tell you some of the most amazing stories about Hephaestus. If you are a beginner in Greek mythology or someone who wants a detailed, but simple explanation of the myth, this video is definitely for you. Unfortunately, Hephaestus was born as a deformed and ugly child, so his mother, Hera, rejected him and threw him from Mount Olympus at the time of his birth. However, he was saved and bought up by the sea goddess Thetis and the Oceanid Eurenum. For nine years he lived in a cave by the ocean, practicing his smith's craft and fashioning all kinds of complex jewelry. When he grew up, he was determined to take revenge on his mother by sending her a golden throne with invisible fetters that would bound anyone who sat upon it. Thus, amazed by the beauty of the throne, Hera sat upon it and was bounded in despair. He was then persuaded by other gods to release Hera from the golden throne, but he stubbornly refused to do so, saying that I have no mother. Only when Dionysus, who is the god of wine, came to persuade Hephaestus by making him drunk and bringing him back to Olympus on the back of a mule, he agreed to set his mother free. In later stories, Hephaestus forgave his mother, but her mother was punished by Zeus because she had persecuted his beloved son Heracles. Hephaestus tried to persuade Zeus to set his mother free, but Zeus not only disagreed, but he also threw Hephaestus away from Olympus the second time. This time he fell through the air for a whole day before landing at sunset on the island of Lemnos. Here the inhabitants took care of him, but in spite of their help, Hephaestus's leg was broken caused by the fall, making him remain forever lame in one foot. Various narrations of Greek mythologies tell about his lameness differently. Some say that Hephaestus had already been lame since he was born, while others believe that his lameness was the result of the first fall from Mount Olympus. Yet, we know for sure that, unlike other gods, Hephaestus was a lame, ugly, and deformed type of god in Greek mythology. But his story does not stop here my friend because there are many other interesting things about the god of fire. Even though he was not a handsome god, he married one of the most beautiful goddesses, who is Aphrodite, the goddess of love. However, Aphrodite later betrayed her husband and was engaged in the secret love affair with Ares, the god of war. As soon as Hephaestus figured out the adultery of his wife, he was so enraged that he created a net which trapped the couple while they were having sex with each other on one occasion. Being not yet satisfied, Hephaestus even brought other gods and goddesses on Mount Olympus to come to the scene, laughing at the couple when they were immovable on the bed. In some sources, Hephaestus was married to the youngest of the three graces called Charis, whose name means glorious. It was also said that Hephaestus was involved in the mysterious birth of Athena, goddess of wisdom, in which he took an axe and divided Zeus's head by half. He later fell in love with Athena, but the goddess rejected him. At once, Hephaestus tried to rape the goddess. However, the goddess pushed him away, causing him to ejaculate on her thigh. Athena then wiped off the semen with a tuft of wool, which she tossed into the ground. Thus, this semen caused Gaia, the Mother Earth, to be pregnant, giving birth to King Erichthonius, the ruler of ancient Athens, whom Athena adopted as her own child in later stories. As the god of blacksmith, Hephaestus was thought to have not only a workshop on Olympus, but actually, his workplace is in many different places in the world, especially beneath the volcanic Mount Etna in Sicily. Here the one-eyed giants, the Cyclopes, worked under his direction, 
and the mountain resounded with the noise of their hammering and quaked and smoked from the ceaseless fiery activity. If you like this video, please hit the like button to support the channel to grow. I made videos mostly concerned about mythologies and secrecy, so if mythology is what you are interested in, please subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you for supporting the channel my friend, I will see you next time.